Hey everyone and welcome to Gaming with Eden. Today we're going to be playing The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time 3DS version, arguably one of the best games in Nintendo history. It's won about 6 world honors and used to sit on Metacritic's chart as the best rated video game ever made. It's also been the first Nintendo game I've ever played and got me into the franchise in the first place. That being said, I'm excited to start this journey once again with all of you, and I hope you'll enjoy this series. For the sake of beginners and those unfamiliar with the 3DS gaming console, I'm going to start from, from the very beginning of the game and read subtitles aloud, just in case for those who may be too young to read themselves. That being said, let's get started. So when you first open your loading screen, uh, you're automatically taken to these files that you can customize for your name, of course. Um, you can copy, delete, duplicate any of these files. It's really great if you have any siblings, if you need to um, share your 3DS with anyone. In the vast, deep forest of Hyrule, long have I served as the guardian spirit. I am known as the Deku Tree. The children of the forest, the Kokiri, live here with me. Each Kokiri has his or her own guardian fairy. However, there is one boy who does not have a fairy. Navi, Navi, where art thou? Come hither. O oh, Navi the fairy, listen to my words, the words of the Deku tree. Dost thou sense it, the climate of evil descending upon this realm? Malevolent forces even now are mustering to attack our land of Hyrule. For so long, the Kokiri force, the source of life, has stood as a barrier, deadering outsiders and maintaining the order of the world. But before this tremendous evil, even my power is as nothing. It seems the time has come for the boy without a fairy to begin his journey. The youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find a young friend and guide him to me. I do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest. Nay, the world depends upon thee. Hello, Link. Wake up. The great Deku tree wants to talk to you. Link, get up. Hey, come on. Can Hyrule's destiny really depend on such a lazy boy? Hmm. 
You finally wake up. I'm Navi, the fairy. The great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. The great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. It's funny how Link just. <laughs> he doesn't even question her, he just, you know, kind of accepts his fate. This is our house. We can't really see any of the signs right now. We're gonna have to unlock that in the future. Um, so we're just gonna head right out. The Kokiri Forest. Yahoo! Hi, Link! Let's meet this green creature, I guess. Wow! A fairy! Finally a fairy came to you, Link. Wow, that's great news! I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, Link. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned to you. It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Get going. Go see the Great Deku Tree. So straight off the bat, you can immediately see that Link's sort of estranged from all of his other friends. Just because he doesn't really have, you know, one of those fairies. Um, this right here- sorry to sidetrack. Uh, this is a Sheikah stone. You can- you can tell that it's Sheikah by the symbols. Um, the three triangles and the eye. Uh, basically, if you ever need help in the future, you know, like if you're stuck in a version of- if you're stuck on any of the temples in this game, you need help for, from someone, you can just head on there and it'll show you a vision of the future. But yeah, we can immediately sort of see that like, even someone who is considered to be his longest friend, most likely, um, his childhood friend, she kind of says that he's not like, he's finally a true Kokiri. Um, I guess implying that, you know, he didn't really fit in that much. He wasn't really considered, um, a Kokiri in the beginning. Let's see if we can get any rupees from here. Um, and yeah, so on that matter, you, you can get rupees a lot of different ways in this game, you know, just from hopping up random houses and traveling across bridges to cutting grass, throwing rocks. Uh, but the point of these rupees is that you can, you know, exchange them for something of value. You could buy deku nuts, deku sticks, shields, armor, stuff like that. So right now we're just collecting some of these because if we were to actually head to the Deku Tree we would be stopped. Hey you Miss Nana Fairy, what's your business with the Great Deku Tree? Without a fairy you're not even a real man. What? You've got a fairy. Say what? The Great Deku Tree actually summoned you. What? Why would he summon you and not the Great Mido? This isn't funny. I don't believe it, you aren't even fully equipped yet. How do you think you're going to help the Great Deku Tree without both a sword and shield ready? What? You're right, I don't have my equipment ready, but if you want to pass through here, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Sheesh. Alright, so right ahead we're going to look for our sword. Um, but the point of gathering rupees was so that I could have enough rupees to buy a shield. And that would actually be 40, I think. I think you can probably gain some rupees just by, you know, hopping around. There we go. We're not gonna listen to Navi because, you know, she just repeats a lot of unnecessary stuff. Like, you know, if I were to listen to her right now, she'd just tell me, you know, Hey Link, the Great Deku Tree needs you! So where are we heading? I think there's probably five here. This is technically your first puzzle of the game. Um, it's nothing really that hard. You just gotta stick behind the rock or it'll mow you down.
You got the Kokiri Sword. This is a hidden treasure of the Kokiri, but you can borrow it for a while. Be sure to practice with it before you really fight. <laughs> I don't see how that should have counted, but let's just continue. So we can probably equip that right now, actually. Um, and the point of equipping is, first off, not only do you get to gather more rupees by cutting down grass, but also Mido's just not going to let you in if you don't um, equip any of your, your your shield and sword. I guess he doesn't like, he doesn't technically see it on you unless if it's like directly equipped or whatever. I don't know, just, we just ignore him guys. Can I get some repeats jumping across? Yes! Alright. We've got five more to go. pretty interesting though how you can see that there's no adults here um it's just like a society completely completely um ruled by children i guess i mean technically it doesn't seem like they have anyone to rule them unless if you look here i guess house of the great mito boss of the kokiri um so yeah Unfortunately, these people are governed by the Great Mido. How's that gonna work out, do you think? Gosh darn it, we still have two more. Let's check out some of these other houses. That meanie Mido is making me cut the grass at Saria's house. Mido told Saria he would do it so she would like him, but I'm the one doing all the work. You and Saria are close friends, so will you help me cut the grass? I'll let you keep anything you find while cutting it. So that's motto for you, just kind of bosses everyone around. Um, and I'm guessing, you know, he probably shoves Link around a lot too, which is why we don't like a, a narcissistic douchebag like him. It's okay, this was my favorite thing to do, just throwing pots all around. Ah, we've got a five. Okay. Off we are to buy our shield. And no, we're just gonna ignore her because I do not want to talk to her. And here we are at the Great Kokiri shop. Straight away we can see some, um, some interesting things in the background. We've got a mask back here that'll end up, um, being something that you can buy or rent out in the game. Uh, you can see that looks like Saria, I feel. Saria back here. Um, I'm not sure if it's just me, but some of these letters look j Japanese. I'm not sure. I, I know some of the Japanese language, but I haven't completely learnt any like kanji yet, so I wouldn't personally know. You got a Deku tree, switch to the gear, yada yada yada. Would you like to buy something else? No, I would not. Alright, let's equip this and finally get started on the DQ tree dungeon. If you want to see the great Deku tree, you should at least equip a sword and a shield. Hey, what's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Is that a Kukiri sword? Good grief. Well, even with all that stuff, a wimp is still a wimp, huh? I, the great Mido, will never accept you as one of us. Shoot, how did you get to be the favorite of Saria and the great Deku tree? Huh? And just like that, we are in. 
should be very careful right here because we've got some enemies that will come spreading out right away. Um, these are Deku Babas. They give us Deku sticks sometimes. Very useful. Um, but like it says, you can only carry a certain amount, so better to stock up now, I guess. While we're on that subject, I suggest that... Because obviously in the Deku tree, you might come across some open flames or whatever. Keep any flames away from your shield. The Deku shield will burn up. It is wooden. Um, you will lose it fairly quickly and it's not... Like, you wouldn't want to have to constantly buy um, another shield every time it burns up, you know? Great Deku Tree, I'm back! Oh, Nobby, thou hast returned. Link, welcome. Listen carefully to what I, the Deku Tree, am about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those, to those sensitive to it. Verily, thou hast felt it. Link, the time has come to test thy courage. I have been cursed. I need thee to break the curse with thy wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Then enter, brave Link, and thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy, thou must aid Link, and Link, when Navi speaks, listen well to her words of wisdom. And that is it for today. We have officially uh, gotten a ticket to the Deku Tree's first raid dungeon. Um, I'm really glad to have been able to play a game with you guys. Um, so you know, I hope you'll continue continue watching, and you know, maybe you can see us tackle the Deku Tree next episode.